Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. We're doing a weekly plan with me today. Um, if you hear any noises in the background, you might hear possibly my kids' uh, white noise machine playing a like, 10 second loop of music over and over again, or the other white noise machine playing wave sounds, or my husband helpfully tidying up in the kitchen. But um, I'm doing this plan with me tonight because I'm filming it late at night uh, because I really desperately feel like I need to get my brain on paper for the next week. And so I'm going to do it here on camera for you. Um, this is the spread that I've been using. I'm trying out something new for the last couple of weeks. This is the week before. Um, this is the week of like Thanksgiving. So the idea is having like different columns for different categories of stuff. And this is the way my brain was organizing things the two weeks prior. <laughs> But uh, Thanksgiving week wasn't the best week for it because I was not in the house doing like chores and stuff um, as much because we had family in town and we we're doing stuff. But anyway, this week I'm doing the same thing except I got rid of the lines in the middle to sort of exemplify for myself whatever that while you can put something on a specific day, it doesn't have to get done that specific day. So it's more like a column, even though I did end up sort of migrating grocery pickup down to here. Um, but this is what I'm going to be going with again for the next week. I like to, when I start using a new spread, like live in it for a while before I decide if it is or isn't working for me. Sometimes you know right away, but other times you can kind of tweak things as you go as you figure out what it is that you need it to be doing. And so far, this one is not, not working. I'm also going to be doing some planning of Christmassy stuff. Um, how did I go in with this? Because uh, I'm realizing, you ever have a Thursday sneak up on you? You're like, where did you come from? Yeah. And it's the first week of Advent, and there's three more weeks. Fortunately, three more full weeks. But, uh, yeah, Thursday snuck up on me this week. And I'm realizing that I have barely done any sort of thinking about Christmas plans. Um, let alone any, you know, getting anything done. And obviously there's like, you know, the shopping to be done and that will get done. But I also want to make sure we get in the things like, you know, taking in the kids to see Christmas lights, um, making cookies, that kind of stuff. And for whatever reason, it doesn't feel particularly Christmassy around here and I don't know why. Because, like, you know, everything is up in stores. But, okay, so, anecdote. You know how, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't think it's just me. Um, who, you know, grew up in the 80s and 90s in the United States. And associates December and malls as being, like, the quintessentially Christmassy thing. It used to be something we would do, like, uh, as a tradition. Like, it was the only time we ever went to the mall, actually, in my family, but we would go to the mall to do some Christmas shopping, like, once a year. And we would look at the Christmas decorations, and it was, like, a whole thing. And even if we didn't, like, go to see Santa at the mall, we would see that he was there, and we would look at all the decorations. And so, anyway, today I needed to get an outfit for the baby, and shoes for myself, because we're going to a wedding next weekend. And um, I was like, you know what, let's go to the mall. We could just go to like this shopping area, but let's go to the mall, because it's on our way back from dropping off my oldest daughter at school. So we show up, and this particular mall has a Target, which like, cool, right? Whatever, it's a three-story Target with a uh, shopping cart escalator. We 
park at the Target, and I figure we'll walk straight through the Target, we'll go into the mall, we'll go to, like, um, they had an Oshkosh and a children's place and a couple of shoe stores. And then on the way back out, we'll stop at Target for anything else we need um, that we weren't able to find. You know, we know that Target will also have some stuff. It can be our last stop because it's on our way to the car. So we go straight through the Target and we get to the, the entrance to the mall and it's closed. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess malls have, you know, hours or whatever. I look at the sign. The mall opens at 11 o'clock. That just seems ridiculous. Maybe on the weekends it's different, but like, it's crazy to me. Um, all right, I'm going to do some color. Anyway, I'm just saying like, I made a bona fide attempt to buy something today that wasn't from Target or Walmart, um, but then I couldn't, so I bought things from both Target and Walmart today. And you know what? It's cheaper there. You know, like I'm living next door to a Ralph's and I do like walk over there, but I'm realizing like if I try to do my weekly grocery haul from there, it's more expensive than doing Walmart grocery pickup. But then again, it seems that without me noticing, uh, they must have told us that this was a change in policy, but apparently Walmart Grocery pickup is not um, price matching substitutions anymore. And so like, yeah. I ended up paying like $5 extra for diaper pail refills than I was expecting to. I also like totally missed the notification about substitutions coming up, but anyway. Now it's time for stickers. First it's time for a glass of water. Britta hits just right. Sticker binder. Now, I believe, unfortunately, the stickers that I used here, I'm out of. I placed an order on like Sunday from Mad Hatter stickers, um, but you know, she's hasn't shipped all of her Black Friday stuff yet. So we don't have those. The abbreviated days of the week stickers, which fit so nicely there. All I have is a Tuesday, two Saturdays, and two Sundays, and that won't get you very far. So I have these, which are the full day, but that's not going to fit. Like, Saturday is not going to fit across three lines. <laughs> a lot of Saturdays and Sundays and one Monday here. That's what you end up with. When you've got Saturday, Sunday, weekend, you don't use all three usually. All right, those are numbers, numbers, a bunch of more Saturdays. Why can't I just throw this away? I don't know. Um, so that's all I had for those. And I think I'm just gonna have to do them horizontally. Um, should I do them at the bottom? That'll be fun, right? Let's do that. That's new and different and interesting. You never have to worry about how much vertical space you have when you're working horizontally. I got, I kept it small this time. I just got a set of the abbreviated week, <coughs> sorry, days of the week and the um, some like journaling deco. That'd be cute. Okay. So I haven't rearranged my content calendar for my own personal planning yet, but I am planning to start releasing these weekly plan with me's late. Um, so you guys will be seeing this like in the middle of the month, but this is the week of the um, 5th through the, what was it, like 12th or something? No. I can actually use some of these date dots here, put that in the middle, see how that looks. Tiny stickers. 
I should just cave and start using tweezers like the cool kids. It'd probably be a lot more accurate because I can't really see what I'm doing with my fingers in the way. You could probably see even less. Sorry about that. Um, I haven't yet apologized in this video for the... I apologize for the audio. I haven't apologized for the tripod legs here. It's not a tripod. It's like a... It serves the purpose of a tripod, but it does not have three feet. Uh, and it is what I've got. Back at our house, I had a... Um, my camera wall mounted for the, the longest bit and uh, very nice to have that. Everything's set up and ready to go here. All of my camera stuff stays in a box under the side table when I'm not using it. And it looks like that might be what's happening for a little while. I'll be updating you when we figure out exactly what we're doing for the middle term but it's looking like we're going to rent for a while. Okay. Put those away. And then I'll put the headers on the other side. So I just pulled out everything that was in the, the pocket there. It's amazing these. But it was these top four. Yeah. So dinner has the lines between because that is like a thing that happens once a day. It's not a list for everything. The list of all dinners is elsewhere in my planner. Then I'm putting errands over here. Sort of general, of, in theory, events and errands because errands could theoretically happen anytime. That's the logic anyway. And then chores are anything that I need to do, um, not an errand, like around the house, uh, that can happen when the kids are awake. And then nap time doesn't specifically have to be when they're asleep, but it's generally like content planning stuff. So things like filming. I was gonna do that during nap time today but then other things came up, and so instead I'm filming it after bedtime. <clears throat> Which I think I have a sticker for too, but didn't use it for that. What do I have? Wait, what is it? Oh, I have content. I could have used content. I have morning, I have lunch. Oh, evening, yes. Yeah, lunch was when I was working, and I would do something on my lunch break. It would be like, a, this is what I'm going to get done on my lunch break section. those away and then oh I think I just put them in the wrong the wrong sleeve that's okay I know I'm going to need stickers for the thing that I mentioned very very briefly in passing there we go We're going to a wedding and that's sort of why I'm uh, going to start filming Weekly Plan With Me's a uh, full week in advance so that you guys or anyone not you guys because you, you who I'm talking to, you have the, you know, the kindest intentions and you would never dox me but I'm trying to be conscientious about that for myself, especially as we're starting someplace new. I'm talking about that kind of thing a lot. You know, where we are, where we're going. I'm not going to tell you that we're out of town until we are back. So, hello from the past. We're taking a road trip because we just don't want to deal with flying with three kids. We'd rather rent a car and deal with driving with three kids. It's a one day drive up through California. We're going to the Bay Area for my cousin's wedding. Um, and 
I guess I'll put, I'm just like, oh no, I can use a sticker. I don't have to just highlight. Highlighting the poor man's sticker um, is for people who don't have stickers. I do have stickers. So I am talking while I'm looking for something that's kind of that shade of red and not seeing it probably in the back. In the back of the, uh, sorry, I'm shaking my camera. In the back of this binder is where all the planner capes fit, the big ones. These don't fit in the, ah. Oh, I didn't mention in this video, this binder is from UniKeep. They sent it to me for, for absolutely nothing, just for being a cool person and mentioning where I got it every so often. Um, and I doubt they watch all of my videos. Uh, so I can tell you that it's fine. Um, stickers do fall out of some of the pockets and some of them have, um, have not sealed perfectly around the bottom, but I, it's way better than the previous. Um, set of organization, which was just like a no meal box. So everything is much more organized now. That's, it's not great, is it? That really doesn't match. It's too cool. Or not cool enough, haha. -ha. I don't want to use up all the greens though. Let's use a, let's use a gray. That's boring. Black. Come on, I just need to make up my mind. Let's use a black one. I don't use those very often. All right. No, gray. Why? This is not an important decision. Now I've put like three stickers back onto their sheet. Let's do gray. Because it's more interesting. I'm going to put... It's not room for his wedding, so I'm going to put plus Ben, because he has a short name. Uh, she's the cousin. And I will not be putting the Airbnb details on here yet. Because for one thing, I don't know, I don't want to pull them up. I'd have to move things around my desk, and I've already done that enough before I started filming. So that's the thing that's happening at the end of the week, and I need to get my head straight about what's happening before then so that I don't forget anything. Um, I've been putting it all on the monthly. This is much busier than I expected it to be. I guess it's just because it's Christmas, but like this is what last month looked like, and this is what this month looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but that's different. It's like just busier. So we've got, do I have, no. Okay. I will tell them about... Alright, I have to just start from somewhere. St. Nicholas is on Tuesday. So that's going to go here. I don't have any colored pens. So I'll just... Oh, I, I can just do this. I have this end. isn't an event well it is the night before the shoes thing does anyone do that oh gosh there's probably an H I'll just pretend it's a different different language that doesn't use an H in Nicholas um, so Monday is shoes um, I'll put that under chores And that means putting the shoes outside the door. Then we also have no school on this day, so I will put open things up again. I have a couple of like schooly ones. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Maybe. That's a maybe. Even 
the best organized, oh, there's nothing schooly there. The best organized sticker binder, you're still scrounging around going, I thought I could have sworn I had something. I'm looking for samplers. I think I had one that had some school stuff on it and I may or may not have already used it. Yeah, I don't seem to have it. Okay. So I'll go ahead and use this. It's fun, right? She has no school on Tuesday, and I don't know why. Uh, it's like a, I think it's a staff retreat or something. And it's sort of pointing to the errand section. If there's anything we need to do while she's out of school, that's what I'll put there, I guess. Okay. And then... Alright, I didn't look that up. But I'll put that also in pen. Thursday is the... Um, I'm not going to spell this wrong. I'm going to just... It can take as much space as it wants. <coughs> eh, not ideal. We need to go to Mass, and I don't know what time it is, but I will look that up um, and put that there. Then... Uh, oh yeah, I did change the sheets that day. So that we'll have fresh sheets when we come back from our trip. We'll see if that happens or not. Oh yes, so I can put this here as sort of an event. Um, Santa's at the library. You know what, I'm going to put event and then time. Just so, because there's a lot of things on here that I have to double check the time. Generally I've been putting um, events in my phone calendar, like my Google calendar, that have the times in there. And then when I need to know about them to put them in my planner, that's where they are. Anyway. Santa's at the library on Tuesday. Agnes is off school on Tuesday, so we will probably go meet him there. And... Okay. So that's a... Shore errand? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out which column to, I'll put it as a chore um, sometime around yeah, here notify school about Friday because we have to take Friday off for the drive I think maybe that's everything that's on here yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put ah yes. I have uh, a tiny little doodle here, very inconspicuous, to show which week of Advent it is. So this will be oh, it's test time. Gaudete Sunday. Could be wrong. Uh, but regardless. Little loop. Loop. Third Sunday of Advent. And then, yeah, I have no idea what's going to be for dinner that week. But I had a sort of list of. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to pack one. It, I'll, I'll put it here. And I might be mostly done with my errands for the week already. 
because I'm trying to do them this week instead of bulking everything up here because like this day when she's off school I'd like to do something fun um, and so that leaves one, two and a half days. Like I don't want to leave it all for the day before plus we have things to get to. Um, I need to figure out whether school mass is getting moved to Thursday of that week or whether, I don't know. We'll have to figure out those plans and figure out when mass actually is. And also, like, I don't know, we, we need to have a well baby visit for the seven month old because he hasn't had a six month visit. So maybe that'll be next week or maybe it will be the week after because it's already late, whatever. He may as well be almost eight months. I looked, I anally looked up the vaccine schedule and it doesn't look like it'll be too big of an issue to get him back on track. Just life is like that right now. So this is what it looks like and I think it's pretty good. I like that I added some stickers to it from this last week, which is very, I had like a single sticker. Um, this looks good to me, I like that. I hope you like it too. Um, so that's where, I, oh no, I was gonna say that's where I'll leave you, but no, the other thing I wanted to do was sort of show you what my Christmas stuff is looking like and do a little bit of that actually because I got myself some new stickies because I didn't have any. I had like three and I needed four, or I had two and I needed four. Um, and uh, like I said, we haven't been, I have to set aside like, okay, this is the week that we're gonna do the cookies, so that I don't worry about not getting the cookies done during a week when we don't need to get the cookies done. So a lot of what my planner is for is like, don't worry about it right now. That's next week's problem. But if I'm spending next week focusing on getting to a wedding, then um, that's leaving us with like two weeks before Christmas and that seems to be cutting it off and close. That's kind of what happened with the camping trip and the birthday party back in September. Nice red and green. Oh man, I don't know if it's gonna show up in the final video or not. This is not lime green. This is like a nice standard Kelly green. Um, so sorry about that. And if the color correction in the video is weird, this is just, this is just basic bog standard red and green. Um, this is the, I forget, I just, or I mean, something primaries, there was an adjective, playful primaries or something like that. Anyway, so this is where we are, and actually it's, it's the first, I'm filming this on the first, behind the scenes for you, so I can actually start filling out my countdown while well, here. You know what, I'm just gonna do the bows this year. Last year I filled in the whole box and it was kind of a pain. I'm just gonna do the bows this year. So this is all insert number 51 from gentryplans.com slash shop. Um, it's not printed the best because I didn't print it before I left um, our house and our printer behind. Um, I printed it on my parents' printer and it's I could not change very many settings on it. Uh, so I wanted to print it at 108% make it a little bigger, wasn't able to. So this is um, Filofax pocket size in a field notes. So there's a lot of extra space at the top or bottom, um, depending on the page. And also like the, it's not, it's not the best quality print job. You know, no shade, whatever to my parents' printer, but I like mine better. So we've got, uh, this all is part of the bundle. So this is the countdown tracker. It's just a fun way to color in. Then the holiday traditions, it has both these like blank ones that you can fill in with your own stuff you want to get done. Um, and then this is a list of suggestions. I went through and I put a little red box on every one of these suggestions that I want to do with my family this year. Two pages of that, at least in the pocket size. And then, um, let's see, holiday movies, which I haven't filled in all of the ones I want to watch. I think I'll kind of fill it in as I see them and think of them. Um, stocking stuffers, which I have this list in here twice, partially because it prints twice, you know, when you're doing it for a traveler's notebook. That's just how life works. 
Um, but this is for St. Nicholas shoes and this is for Christmas Eve stockings. Um, so just lists of, you know, what I'm going to put in everybody's stuff and gift ideas for everybody, which mostly hasn't been filled in yet. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, and this is sort of another list of, I just started writing down who I wanted to get gifts for without setting them all aside on boxes here. This is just sort of a brain dump. Um, I, did I mention I got these from the Dollar Tree? Um, and they fit real nice, so I like them a lot. And then this is some extra pages in the back that don't need to get used because they're the duplicates of the ones in the front that are getting used. But the point is, I wanted to go through this list and I marked everything I want to get done, but I'm going to assign them to weeks. Um, so, this is a little bonus holiday plan with me, in the middle of your weekly plan with me, and it's probably not super useful, because if you are watching planner people on YouTube, you probably already have something like this already done, and like I said, I'm filming this like a week or more in advance. Um, I'm limited in space here, so I'm just going to show you what I can. I'm going to go through and have, uh, I'll just put week. One week two. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to alternate. Oh well. Week three. Week four. I might redo these to look prettier. Actually, I probably will. So decorations. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I started on it put up the stockings because I had the command hooks for those, but I didn't have the command clips for the lights. So I got those. They're in now. So I'm going to try to do the lights tomorrow. Or maybe Saturday. Yeah. Lights. Family photo is done. Cards. I would like to get started on that. Um, we got photos taken over Thanksgiving but they're on my sister-in-law's camera. So I think she probably wants to like post-process them or something. She hasn't sent them to us yet. And like, I don't want to bug her cause she just, you know, very kindly did it. Uh, gift exchange, obviously that happens. Wrap presents, that goes here. I don't currently have any to wrap yet. Cookies for Santa. So this week four is off school so cookies baking will be in week four hopefully earlier in the week than later advent wreath advent calendar done done nativity that's part of decorations um cocoa eggnog both done Letter to Santa, I don't think that's happening. I kind of tried to make it a thing, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm gonna have Santa write them a letter on St. Nicholas Day. So that's actually, that needs to happen. From Santa. It's like, I heard you moved. Uh, movies, yes. I'm going to write that on here. Movies, movies. We watched Frozen 2. That's not unfestive. Hmm, I'll put that here. Paper snowflakes. I don't know if I want this to be a thing in our life or not, but I think my little four-year-old who has been practicing her scissor skills, give her a direction to point that energy Christmas lights, yes. Oh, we're meeting Santa this weekend. Christmas lights um, is something I think we wanted to do with the grandparents, so I don't know. I think that's gonna happen here. Because, because next week is busy, but it could be here. If they, if they bring it up for next week, we'll do it in week two. If they don't, then I'll bring it up and we'll do it in week three. 
All right, so that's not as much stuff as I thought, honestly. But the only thing that's not on this list is shopping. And that is going to have to happen. And unfortunately, I think it's going to have to get started in week two, even though we're still going to be getting ready for the wedding. I mean, I just have to pack, right? I think I have everything needed for the wedding, like all the clothes and stuff. I just have to pack. So we need to do shopping, we need to do shopping, and hopefully we won't have to do shopping in week four. So there we go. That's my Christmas planning. And I'm going to keep these back on these pages at the back that I'm not using until that week pops up and then I can transfer stuff over. So right here. Week one. Week one and week two, we just have we have space for already, but this is the idea. So I can kind of see what's going on. <coughs> and have this somewhere where it lives. So there you go. A little bonus Christmas stuff playing with me. Because that's always happening too. Oh, I got rid of the clip. Uh, there it is. I think it looks pretty good. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I post videos every Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss those. And have a really productive day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.